Well, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today's video, I wanna see how far we can actually push the Dark Star with a full tank of fuel. If we have a look at the Dark Star, it says that it has a range of 2,500 nautical miles, but given its altitude that it can fly, 275,000 feet, where the air is super thin, I think we can really push that. How far can we actually push it? Let's take this, let's make sure everything is at 100. Uh, payload is fine, I guess. Pilot, 400, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Now, I'm on the Xbox and recently, this has been crashing non-stop, so let's just go ahead and turn all of this off. We shall start somewhere up here in Alaska, Anchorage. So we'll set this as the departure. If we zoom out, we can see the radius of 2,500 nautical miles. So, so let's see, where shall we push it to? Maybe here. So we'll set this as the arrival. So that's 5,300 nautical miles. Then we shall add a stop just on the border of its 2,500. So we'll add that. Okay, it's not exactly 2,500. Let's maybe add this just before we go over the water, just in case we need somewhere to land. Let's choose this. We'll add that. And then is there anything here? I oh, will just add this just in case. All right, so we're looking good. Let's get into this. Okay, so obviously we're gonna burn some fuel getting up to altitude, etc. Let's still make sure this is all 100. We are burning fuel as we're sitting here. So it says here we have 2,466 miles. Let's go. Take off. Land the gear up and it looks like my map has not updated. So let's close this down, open it back up. There we go. Already 1% of fuel gone, just taking off. Let's keep climbing until we uh, initiate Mach 9 sequence. Okay, so we've burnt up about 14% of fuel. We are at just 45,000 feet in the air. Let's get this Mach 9 sequence going. So that wasted about 3% of fuel. Let's take a look at our fuel consumption here. The center one tank is 29% and the center AFT is at 22%. Now, obviously, once we activate our scramjets, we'll start using these, these tanks up. Let's uh, knock this on. As we are fast approaching Mach 3. And look at that, we've already uh, lost 1% of our scramjet tank 1. Okay, so we're at our max cruising altitude of 275,000 feet. We've done 300 miles and we've burned 28% fuel. This is where we'll probably start reaping those miles back. Just under 2,150 miles to go. Right, I'll time lapse this and I'll uh, catch up in a little bit. Okay, sit rep. So we're fast approaching our 2,500 mile range. Also, I did myself out with the real time and we are actually flying into night, but can we appreciate what Microsoft have actually done with the lighting in this game? This looks phenomenal. Okay, so we have now 430 odd miles to our next waypoint. Obviously, I forgot to say that we have surpassed our 2,500 mile range and we've still got 40% fuel left. So theoretically, I mean, our total distance for this was just over 5,000 miles. We might just make this. We may have to coast a little bit, but I'm feeling confident. So that is Corpus Christi, we're just flying over there now. 
and we have another 870 miles to go and we're down to 36% fuel remaining. Yeah, but this is it. It's all water now until uh, we reach Le Aurora International. Okay, so we are just passing La Aurora International Airport, which means that we have covered just over 3,700 miles. We've got just under 1,500 miles to go on 24%. We could just make this or we could just crash somewhere. Let's just make it to the next leg and take it from there. Okay, so something I didn't actually comprehend fully is we've actually now only got 1% left of our scramjet tanks. Once, once these are empty, there we go, zero. Our scramjets are gonna cut off, aren't they? We may not make this now. Looks like they're still engaged though. Uh, I'm not sure where, where we're pulling fuel from here now. I mean, we're still going. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've... Okay, so as you can see, our speed has declined rapidly. Uh, vertical speed is dropping. Let's just continue and see what happens. We've still got nearly 1200 gallons left of fuel. We'll land safely somewhere. Will it be our intended target? Probably not, but that's what we're here to find out. Okay, so our main engines have boosted up now. Let's see how uh, fast we consume this. I mean, we are so close. We are nearly a thousand miles from our actual final destination. We are still at 275,000 feet. Vertical speed is rising. We're gonna be eating into our left and right outer tanks now, aren't we? Yeah, so we've used, uh, what was it? Was it 598? So 592 on each. I don't know how realistic this is. Oh yeah, so it is dropping a little bit. Okay, full steam ahead. Okay, so sit ref, we're about 44 miles from Gwen Pio, right down there, the final leg. We're down to 11% fuel. Our altitude has been slowly dropping. I've just I've just put the controller aside and just let it do its thing. I haven't touched it whatsoever. I think we'll make this. I actually think we'll be able to go a little bit further, but I'm gonna land at, um, I think our final destination, I had to look it up there because I wasn't sure, SPGL, which is Chagul Airport. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's in Peru. We should make it. 390 miles to go. 11%. We're cruising. Like I said, we probably could push a little bit further, but I need to account for fuel coming in for landing for whatever reason, in case we need to go around or whatever. I am probably going to adjust the time. So at least we have clear daytime when it's time to land. About 130 miles from our final destination. Let's go ahead and let's just change the time just so we have a bit of daylight. Yeah, sunrise should be nice. This doesn't look like a great airport now that I see it. It's stuck in the mountains somewhere. Right, start our descent. We are at 7%. I think this should be fine. Let's get this down, landed, taxied and parked.
Okay. I don't know where we're going here. Let's just taxi off. I don't know. Literally looks like someone's house. Anyway, we're just gonna stop right about here. There we go. That went a lot smoother than I anticipated. Let's turn everything off. So we did 5,300 nautical miles. We have 5% fuel left. We can't really push it a whole lot further than that, I don't think. Also, I may have burnt up a little bit too much fuel trying to get to Mark 9. I think that's been a complete success. So there we have it. Now we know how far the Dark Star can fly on a full tank of fuel. Anyway, so I think I'm going to end it there. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video, we'll catch you then. See ya. Keep dancing with the devil, but he doesn't love